Okay, today what I want to show you is how to do a backup of all your system settings, your app settings, all your apps, and all your customizations that you've done to your screen, your Android uh, screen. Uh, the program we're going to be using for that today is Titanium Backup. It's a program that's freely available on the Android market, or you can download the APK directly online. Um, this program is very convenient too if you're going to be upgrading to a newer firmware, if you want to try different firmware and you want, don't want to go through the hassle of having to put all your information back in, all your settings, all your wallpapers, etc. So first what you want to do once your system's all set up the way you like it is you go into your titanium backup. When you open this program here, if you get any errors or any, uh, just click OK, OK, and everything should be OK. And then you go in the upper right hand corner, and you click on the last tab, and then you scroll down the menu down to Preferences. What I'm going to be showing you is how to back up all your information onto your SD card. So later on, if you're doing an upgrade on your firmware, you just have to put your SD card in, and everything will be installed the way it was before. The only thing it doesn't install is your XBMC plugins that you're going to have to do separately after. So what you want to do is scroll down to backup folder location, click on it. This is way easier done if you're using a computer mouse. Uh, any mouse will do if you have access to one, just plug it in. Uh, it'll be a lot easier for you. Once you get to this menu here, just right click on the mouse. And then what you want to select is an external SD card. Make sure you have an SD card in your midnight. And then from there, you can either create a new folder, or I just put one here called Backup. So I'm just going to go into that folder. And then on the bottom right hand corner, use the current folder. Click on that. Now you just have to refresh the screen. So I right click on the mouse, it'll just refresh the screen. Click OK. And now you're ready. Now you want to go on the upper right hand corner and select the middle option. And right here it'll give you all your options for backup, restore, and your verify. What you want to do here, the first thing you want to do is in the backups. You want to back up. You have the choice here to back up all your user apps, all your system data, all your user app plus system data. So this is the one here I'd recommend. You click run. And here it will give you a selection of everything that you can back up. You don't have to back everything up. All the system information that's already there won't be necessary. Um, I'm just going to take a few out here. Uh, all your apps, you want to make sure to keep that. I usually take out anything that's in red. It's usually not necessary. down down email you can if you want if you got all your settings there I just don't need it I'm just gonna go down unselect everything that you don't need backed up There, so basically everything here has been backed up, has been selected. All your apps are all selected, your games. And make sure that you include XBMC. And then from there, what you're going to do is just go click on the right hand corner on the check mark and make sure it's selected and pause active apps. It'll start your backup. Okay, we're almost done here. Okay, so now you have a copy of all of your apps 
your settings on your SD card. So if you have another midnight that you want to configure and you want the same settings as this one, everything's working properly, you can just send the whole thing right back onto your, a new unit without having to install everything individually. Now, to do a restore, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your titanium backup installed on your Gbox Midnight, and then you go back into your settings. You can go into your preferences to make sure that your folder location is still on your SD card. And as you can see here, the whole backup that we just made is all here, including all the apps and all the settings. So that folder is fine, so we can just cancel that. We know we're in the right folder. And then we can go back to the middle option here in the right hand corner. And then what we have to do here is we got to go to restore. And what we're going to want to restore here will be all restore missing apps plus all system data. If you're just restoring apps, that's fine. Or if you're just backing up your apps, but if you want a complete backup of your desktop and all your apps and your settings, uh, I'd suggest doing this one here. Now in order to do this one, you just click on the run button. It'll show you like last time, everything that was backed up on your SD card last time. And then you can just put a check mark in what you need back, or reinstalled I should say, back onto your system. And with the same procedures, you just click the check mark here, and everything should start. Once it's complete, your desktop should be all back to normal exactly before you backed it up. Hope this helps. I know a lot of people were asking about backing up their system when they're doing firmware updates. So this should make it a lot easier for a lot of people. So stay tuned for more videos brought to you by Gbox Canada.